Eyes are the window to the soul. In pictures, it's the very first thing we look at. Using Photoshop, there are all kinds of ways to use enhancements. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sharpen the eyes. So when it comes to eyes, we like to make them as sharp and noticeable as possible. This can be helpful if the eyes are slightly blurred due to focus, or to just make them really stand out. You can normally use the sharpen tool, but there's a smarter way to do it, which makes things a little easier. So I have this picture of Zero Kazama, and I like to use pictures of him regarding eyes due to the fact that he has surprisingly colorful eyes. So, I'm going to grab my zoom tool, and I'm going to go to actual pixels 100%. There we are. Now I'm going to make a copy of the background layer. And I'm going to go to Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. And there's a couple of options you have under the Remove. It can be Gaussian Blur, Lens Blur, or Motion Blur. If you were wearing glasses, I would usually use Lens Blur, but we're going to try out Motion Blur. So I want to grab one of the eyes. And you want to mess around with the radius until it retains a certain level of sharpness that's going to be really good. The larger the image, the larger the radius. And you can change around the angle, and you can help with the accuracy. So that's looking pretty, pretty good. Now if you wanted to, you can go to Advanced, and you can change around different, different uh, statistics based on shadows and highlights, fade amounts, things like that. But really, you can stick to basic, and it's just fine. It'll be difficult to tell while watching this tutorial on the YouTube video, but do it yourself and you'll definitely see the difference. So, press OK. And now it's definitely sharpened, but so is the rest of the image. So we're going to click on the Add Layer Mask icon. We're going to invert the mask. And we're going to press the Brush tool. Make sure it's white. And make sure that your brush is about the size of the eye or a little smaller, depending on what you want to do. So it'll generally fit the whole eye and set the opacity and flow at 100%. And just paint through it. There we go. So we'll look at it before and after. Before after definitely sharper it's subtle but the difference is definitely helpful all right guys so that's a basic way on how to sharpen eyes if you want to see something regarding touch-ups or enhancements of photographs send me an email to request and please be sure to rate comment and subscribe below